it is getting increasingly difficult to work on activity that feels right to us at that moment of time to do something that is more meaningful which is actually required which will enhance our lifestyle we all know what we should be doing at this very moment to be the person we wish to be in the future here is a famous quote from a greek philosopher from the ancient times from the great socrates it is very simple but it has a deeper meaning if not for now at some moment of time we all will agree to this quote and after which we tend to experience a life which is more meaningful and impactful it goes by the saying know thyself when we translate this to the modern era the word know thyself conveys the meaning to be a student of oneself or otherwise you are your own master the word master is slightly harsh we can say that you are your best mentor you might have heard this from many motivational speakers in youtube or in linkedin platform and they convey this message by saying 20 years of wisdom in 20 minutes the 10 lessons i will share to my younger self or here are the five things that will make my future self to feel proud of my past all these statements try to convey the same meaning you are your best mentor it is obvious that there is no better person in this world who can understand us better to know us better to guide us to be a person we want to be but us but lately we humans mostly the gen z's the people in the 90s including myself and to some extent the people in the 80s do not realize this simple fact and are not aware of it nor do they have the ability to hear their inner voice of their master their mentor or their guide but have become slaves to some of the powerful systems developed by some of the intelligent people on earth we are no longer under the guidance of our best mentor our mind has been hijacked by these so called sophisticated systems okay why is this happening and how can we regain control of our mind how can we reclaim our mentor for this we need to understand about an important substance produced inside our body the dopamine the dopamine otherwise called as the feel good hormone is produced by the hypothalamus part of our brain it is responsible for some of the significant functions that enable us to be who we are in day to day life it is responsible for the 3m and the reward system in our body the 3m being the memory motivation and moment the dopamine is a neurotransmitter and it is responsible for the signal movement in our brain which activates a specific function the amount of dopamine produced and its overall effect in our body will enable us to be in any of these three states normal state the high state and the low state we are generally in the normal state and the dopamine is in its base level with little fluctuations here and there when performing a routine task which we are habituated to do from the childhood like brushing our teeth taking a bath or while going for a walk or when we are casually relaxing in our home but it is obvious that we can never be in the normal state for longer but after every distraction which makes the dopamine state to go higher or lower we tend to revert back to the normal here is a simple example imagine after a heavy meal we decided to go for a walk and considering that you are not wearing any headphones and just walking our dopamine level is in its normal state with little fluctuations caused by the activity happening in the background you see a scooter pass by you hear the noise of some children playing and likewise there are so much activity happening in the background which will cause little fluctuations but suddenly when you hear a voice calling out your name and you turn around and find it to be your friend now you have responded to an external stimuli and your dopamine level has shifted to a new level whenever we interact with an environment or acted upon an external stimuli or when we interact with people around us our dopamine level increases and it is positively shifted to a new state it could be because of this one or any combination of this five external stimuli first the song or sound we hear in this case it is calling out our name second when seeing a person or an object or experiencing a visual or some kind of motion graphic in this case it is when we see our friend third the smell we sniff and experience the moment when we enter a cinema lounge and the smell of the popcorn literally guides us to the place where it is fourth 
द फुट वी ईट इन कोयमूर दर इज दिस फेमस फुट कॉल रोड सैड कॉल आन आर मे बी इट इट कुड बी युवर फेमस बिर्याणी अंड लास्टली द पर्सन आर एन आबजेक्ट दट वी टच टू इंट्राक्ट इट कुड एदर बी युवर पार्टनर आर जस्ट जेटल ब्रीज that touches your face in the early morning or perhaps it could be us as well or maybe a combination of this could be like experiencing a movie with your friend or partner where all these five elements are activated do you realize what are these five elements that affect our dopamine these are the five senses we humans experience we will get back to the sixth sense soon but as of now understand that it is the one that completes the picture and also remember this point we will get back in the upcoming session the anticipation of a reward creates a larger spike in the dopamine than the reward itself so here is a simple solution to make or form a good habit or break or stop a bad habit we just have to deal with these five elements to do something that is favorable to us or eliminate something that is not favorable to us suppose to create a good habit use pleasant colors in your workspace and avoid dark colors or dark shade of any color so that the environment is more pleasing to work and it helps us concentrate on the task we wish to perform or try to work in a pleasant noise free environment you can do this by investing in lower noise emitting home appliances which include your mixi ac washing machine your vacuum cleaner or your air cooler or maybe you can just get your active noise cancelling headphone the third is very basic and it is simply to wash our hands properly after every meal the taste and smell of the biryani you ate for lunch was pretty good but the same smell in your hand after 1 or 2 hours along with the sweat gives away a foul smell which is disgusting when trying to perform a productive activity or you could consider buying a sponge emoji ball or get a hand gripper it feels satisfying and helps to concentrate likewise to eliminate a bad habit that is when you realize that you just got involved in performing a bad routine just pause for a second and visualize what was the cue or trigger that made you to do this and try to be cautious next time when the same craving occurs but the best and effective way to eliminate a bad habit is to create or form as many good habits so you can gradually shift your focus to do the desired things some of the habits we developed may have stronger cues and it is nearly impossible to eliminate from our mind but to just replace it with a new habit coming back to dopamine after experiencing a spike of dopamine energy a positive shift from the normal state it is natural that towards the end of the event our dopamine level will revert back to normal but not always it depends on the overall experience on how we feel at the end of experiencing the event it is very important to understand this concept let's take an example to understand this better a scenario of visiting to a hotel with our friends or with our partner i am just taking some random example and by the end of it you will be able to visualize with any thought coming to your mind case 1 if the overall experience of the event is satisfying and the dopamine level indeed gets back to the normal after experiencing the event it could be due to one or many of these individual experiences the restaurant you wanted to visit is easier to locate in the google map and indeed you reached there on time and it was easy to navigate and find the place or it is because of the reason that you are able to pre book the table in advance for the particular occasion that you have planned it could also be because that you ended up having a hassle free car parking or maybe the ambience and the reception area is more welcoming and looks great for the occasion and it definitely depends on the staff behavior and you end up being lucky because the staff is able to communicate in your own language or maybe you find the items in the menu card are fairly priced and lastly when you order the food and when it finally arrives your table it appears similar as shown in the template and you find the aroma from the food smells great and when you taste it it exceeds your expectations and you get a pleasant overall experience note that as we mentioned before during each stage we received a dopamine spike 
that further increased our desire for the food and if not for all and if the ending experience is great and we feel satisfied and the experience becomes memorable this is what we refer to as the sixth sense our dopamine level shifts back to the normal state and it is end of the story sounds like a perfect world right but reality always has some surprises for us and some unplanned twists and turns and if because of any xyz reasons if the event is not satisfying as expected let's suppose that on your way back to home or during any moment you happen to cross paths with a person whom you should not have met during that occasion maybe your ex or maybe it is a call or message from your manager demanding a urgent task or just reminding you about a pending task so that now you need to work for a while after returning to home how does it feel it obviously ruins your experience and your dopamine level instead of reverting back to normal has now went below the desired state this is a state where you feel depressed angry and demotivated and we mentioned earlier that it is because of the natural instinct to get back to the normal state we tend to do the following things which act as a quick fix to change our present state of mind and what are those immediate easily accessible pleasure inducing activities these we refer to as the bad habits it could either be mindless scrolling through social media or it could be smoking or consumption of alcohol or it could be just indulging in some video games by indulging in these activities in order to help us return back to the normal we end up getting stuck in a dopamine inducing loop we all can relate to this and agree to this point after mindless scrolling through instagram watching reels for half an hour or up to an hour we do not feel any better but more worse this is because the dopamine level in our brain has not only reverse from the lows and it is increasing higher and it temporarily shifts the baseline value to a higher stage this is because the reward cycle of scrolling through reels is much faster and it is very random we see a reel and it hooks us now we want to watch it we do watch it we feel satisfied very quick the reward system here is acting much faster and it is very random not every reel hooks us and hence we keep on scrolling and because our baseline dopamine has shifted we search for more engaging content to satisfy us even further and this short cycle goes on and on and until nothing not even the most fascinating reel is interesting to us or when we get interrupted by an external stimuli like a person literally coming to us to stop the activity or maybe you are able to escape from this inevitable loop because of your own internal stimuli because the hormones produced in your body are touching their maximum limits and it escalates a scenario to stop this process it is a vicious process and because of indulging in such activities the dopamine level in our brain takes some time to gradually fall back to the original state and if during this transition if we continue to indulge in such high dopamine intensive activities it might take weeks or even months to get back to normal or perhaps we will never return to the original state okay coming back to the question we asked in the beginning of this video why is it getting increasingly difficult to focus on activity that feels right to us at that moment of time it is because our base dopamine level has shifted higher and involving in a productive task feels very difficult here are some of the common practices of successful people who are in the top 1% of what they do they exercise for 4 to 5 days a week cover 10k steps every day they are probably cooking their own meal and eat healthy food rather consuming on packaged items they update their skills often and learn new and relevant skills to be ahead of the curve they do more meaningful interaction with people and are always willing to learn from others for the people who experience high dopamine levels going to the gym after returning from office is very difficult lifting weights after a tiring day is very difficult cooking our own meal 
is very very difficult when we have an easier alternative of getting our food delivered at our doorsteps and it is because of this very reason that eating healthy food is very difficult next is learning a new skill during the weekends is extremely difficult because we are more inclined to going out with our friends or family to watch cricket or play our favorite games here i am not blaming these activities and it will be clear towards the end of this video but doing such tasks require a lot of motivation and it is simply not present in many of us and lastly only learning doesn't help anything implementing that new skill to convert it as a separate revenue stream for example scripting or shooting a youtube video writing a community post in youtube is not easy in short these are not the most rewarding activities which we can do to feel better in the short term the reward for which we put in the effort today might take months or even years to come back to us but i don't want to end this video with a negative tone and there are actually actionable ways to reset our dopamine level to start involving in these productive activities start by first doing the productive activities and at the end reward yourself for performing the activity it could be anything you like but set a timer and only indulge in that duration it is by simply choosing pain before pleasure or we can say delayed gratification second when we are in any of these present state of mind instead of grabbing our phone for a quick solution we can choose to do these simple alternatives which are the real solution to feel better from the present situation third reframe your environment restructure your workplace so that we naturally feel good when planning to begin a productive activity we discussed this earlier in the video fourth to get started with any activity scale it down to 2 minutes so that it can be easily done and split the larger activity to many simple and easy to implement tasks or steps so that getting started becomes really easy and continuing with the habit also becomes more convenient and fifth not last but not least is rule of avoidance slowly reduce involving in high dopamine activities instead of quitting them abruptly because you are more likely to repeat them after you had stopped for a certain duration it is sure that breaking the cycle is going to be difficult and it could take weeks or even months to revert back our dopamine level to normal and as we are in this journey we start to experience happiness in doing simple activities and we men especially start to respect women like never before and look at them for what as they are instead of something else ideally i would say that we want to maintain our dopamine level slightly below the normal state i call this the optimum level for maximum productivity by doing so we also get to enjoy some dopamine intensive activities by indulging in the things we desire this is possible because the increase in the dopamine level caused by the activity leads us only to the normal level which is the original level of dopamine and it is not exceeding out of our control and it becomes easier to revert back to normal before the situation gets out of control hope this video offered you a holistic picture about dopamine the content for this video is a thoughtful summary of the book atomic habits but yet merely 5% of what is written in the book is mentioned in this video and there is so much to learn from this book if you like this video i hope you will like to read the book as well please check the description below the video to get the copy of the book it is already a lengthy video and thank you so much for staying till the end see you again in the next video where we will discuss some technical indicators and concepts to trade in a momentum stock Yes our next video again will be shifting to the stock market but we will talk more about these concepts in this channel about dopamine about productivity and about achieving financial freedom by 2030 a lot more interesting concepts are in the pipeline along with fitness related content which are planned to help us to reach our goal and you can expect to see such videos in the near future stay tuned see you soon until then